Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in this session, we will see one more set operation in discrete mathematics that is a Cartesian product. So in our previous session, we have discussed about various set operations like union, uh, intersection, difference, disjoint sets, etc, etc. So in that we have missed one important set operation that is a Cartesian product. So we will cover that particular concept in today's session. So let's start that. Cartesian product. So what is this Cartesian product and how it is represented and how can we find this Cartesian product. So this Cartesian product is pain pain of elements where one element belongs to one set and another element belongs to another set. So this Cartesian product should also be implemented on two different sets. Right. So for example, A and B are two sets then the Cartesian product A into B is equal to, so it will be represented with an into, right? The cross symbol is a Cartesian product. A into B will be all the pairs, see, the pair of elements. For example, A comma B, pair of elements, all the pair of elements, right? Where a belongs to capital A and small b belongs to capital B. So, where A and B are elements of a set. Okay, A and B are elements of a set. So, all the collection of these pairs is called as a Cartesian product. Hope you understood. Right? Yes. See. So, usually the representation, uh, once again I am writing here. So, represented as cross, okay, this symbol, this symbol, okay, this Cartesian product will also be applied on two different sets. Now, let us see an example, okay. So, this A comma B is called as a pair of elements, pair of elements. So, not only the we can apply the Cartesian product on two sets, we can also apply the Cartesian product on three sets. See, A, B and C are three sets. Then, A into B into C. That means, we are... Uh, applying Cartesian product on three different sets, then it will become A comma B comma C such that A belongs to capital A and B belong sorry small b small b is an element right B belongs to capital B and small c belongs to capital C. So, this is the Cartesian product we can apply for three different sets. Okay. And usually this is called as triplet. So, here we are having only two elements in the uh, pair. So, we can call it as a pair of elements. But here it is three elements. Then it is called as a triplet. Triplet. Okay. Collection of triplets. So, now we will see an example. Hope you understood the definition, right? So, let us see an example. For both the sets, we will see, right? 
for a example a is equal to a b and b is equal to 1 2 then the cartesian product a into b will be all the pairs so a 1 so a comma 1 a comma 2 b comma 1 b comma 2 this will be the cartesian product for given sets similarly if you go with b into a we'll be getting the same pairs but the elements will be different right? see we have to start from b to a so 1 comma a and 1 comma b similarly 2 comma a 2 comma b this is a b into a you can observe these two are not equal these two are not equal right so a comma 1 is not equal to 1 comma a so we can say that a into b is not equal to b into a so coming to the cartesian product a into b is not equal to b into a so we can say it is a not commutative so we have seen the commutative properties right so if a union b is equal to b union a then we can say it is a commutative property similarly it is not equal so it is not a commutative property okay yes so hope you understood just giving the pair of elements where one element belongs to one set and another element belongs to another set so let us see an example for a three c is equal to some pq so a into b into c so which key gives a comma b into 1 comma 2 into p comma q so we need to write all the combinations okay c a 1 p similarly a 1 q a 2 p a 2 q now b 1 p b 1 q b 2 p b 2 q so this will be the cartesian product of three sets and here we should call them as a triplets we should call them as a triplets right yes so and here also we can say we can change the order a into b into c or b into c into a or uh, c into a into b but we'll be getting the different cartesian products so all are not same so it is not a commutative hope you understood so how we have seen what is a cartesian product and uh, how can we find the cartesian product of two sets as well as a three sets yes now we'll say a few statements very important statements cardinality so this is also we have seen in our previous sessions cardinality of any set is the number of elements in that set right so if n of a is m and n of b is n that means the number of elements of a number of elements of b so here i'll write number of elements in set a similarly number of elements in set b then the cardinality of a into b which is represented as n of a into b will be always m into n m into n 
So the number of elements in the Cartesian product will be m into n. For example, so previous example uh, set A is having two elements and set B is also having two elements. So Cartesian product A into B will be having 2 into 2 which is 4 elements. So that's why so we are taking this one. Cardinality means the total number of elements. Okay. Similarly, if both are n, it becomes l square. Then, this is one important thing, and uh, another important thing. So we have to apply the Cartesian product on two sets. Either it may be same set or a different set. So if either set A or set B is null set. Null set means this one, empty set. Null set means empty set and which can be represented with the empty curly braces or any that pi symbol. Then Cartesian product, Cartesian product will also become null set. For example, some a is equal to 1 comma 2 and b is equal to empty set, then a into b obviously becomes null set. Okay, so you can represent the null set in either, either representation. Okay, so a into b will also be the null set. If any one of the set is empty set or null set, the Cartesian product also becomes a null set. Next, if either set A or set B is infinite set, infinite set, then the Cartesian product will also become infinite. Right? So, if A, either A or B becomes an infinite set, we have seen what about the infinite set. What is meant by infinite set? So, infinite set means, so the number of elements can be count, uh, can't countable, right? Uncountable elements. If the set is having uncountable elements, then we can say it as an infinite set. So, if either A or B are equal to this infinite set, then obviously the Cartesian product of them will also become the infinite set. So, we can't uh, uh, know about the cardinality here for such type of uh, infinite sets, right? So, hope you understood regarding this uh, Cartesian product, just is a pair of elements where one element in, in the pair belongs to one set and another element in the pair belongs to another set and this can be applied for both uh, uh, two sets or uh, multiple sets also, right? So, we have also seen the examples. So let's stop here and if you are having any queries or doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.